In this video, I want to talk about um, a process called linearization. So what does that mean? That means if I have a, a curve like this, it looks like a non-linear curve, the red curve, I want to form uh, an, a tangent at some point. Yeah, let's call that point x0. I want to form a tangent at the x point, such that, that this tangent is a rough approximation to the curve itself. Now, clearly you can see that at the, at x0, the, var, the, the, the approximation is exact. But as I move, move this way and this way, you can see the approximation gets worse and worse as the uh, straight line diverges from the red line. So it's a way of approximating nonlinear curves, but it only works so long as we're in the vicinity uh, of our what's called the operating point. The problem of linearization then amounts to finding the equation for this slope, right, for this uh, tangent line here. Now we need to remember one thing, we need to remember the slope here. Let's assume that the, this line uh, describes a function f of x. This then is the slope, m, let's call that m, and m is then the derivative of df by dx. Oops, that's not very good. dx, okay, so df by dx. Now we can rewrite the slope in another way, in terms of the line itself. So I know that the slope is the difference between some point along that line and that's y0 and y0 divided by some point along the x component of the line minus x0. Right, so I'm just taking a ratio of two distances that gives me the slope along that line. Now at this point, of course, I don't know what y and x are, but that doesn't matter, we'll get to that in a minute. Now I can rearrange this by first taking this up to there and then bringing the, uh, the y0 onto the side. And if I do that, I get y equals y0 plus m times x minus x0. Okay, that's that equation describes the tangent line at x0. Okay, at x0. So let's illustrate this equation with uh, an example. Let's say I have the equation x squared. Now that looks something like um, like that. All right. So it's a nonlinear function. We've got x along here and y along here. And at some point on this, I want to uh, form uh, an approximation. I want to f find out that tangent line at that point. That point will be x0. Uh, giving me y0 on the y-axis. So what is that tangent line? First thing I need, of course, is the slope. What's the slope of that tangent? Well, I know what the slope is because I know the equation. In fact, the slope is df by dx. Oh, sorry, let me do that differently. Is dy by dx. It's just the derivative of that, which is 2x. Okay, so I have that. So now let's fill in the rest of uh, this equation. So. Uh, y equals, well what's y0? Well y0 is this, and y0 is the is the y at the uh, operating point x0. So it's x0 squared, so that's x0 squared, plus slope, which is 2x, x stays the same, and x0 stays the same. Okay, so I can multiply those out, plus uh, 2x. Ah, uh, one thing I should point out, the slope, of course, is at x0. So I need to put an x0 there, so that's 2x0, x minus 2x0 squared. Okay, obviously I got some cancel cancelling to do here, so I can get rid of some of those. So y equals 2x0, x minus x0 squared. So that equation describes the tangent line at x0. How about doing a particular example? Let's say my operating point x0 is 4. All right? And at um, x, x0 equals 4, I know that y0 is 16, because 4 times 4 is 16. So let's insert x0 into our tangent equation. So I get y equals 2 times 4 times x minus 
4 times 4 is 16. So that gives me 8x minus 16. Okay, that's our line. Now I can show you that that's correct because uh, let's say um, let's say uh, x was x x zero at the operating point itself, and x zero is four. So eight times four minus sixteen that equals thirty two minus sixteen, which equals sixteen. That of course is four times four, right? Because we had x x was four. 4 times 4 is 16. So this gives us uh, a reasonable approximation for x squared around x0 equals 4. What happens if we try uh, another number? Let's say we tried um, okay, different color. Let's just say we tried x equals 3. What's the value of y at x equals 3? Well, we do the same thing again. Let's just remind ourselves. So uh, the approximation is this. So at x equals 3, y will equal 2 times 4, because remember we are uh, operating around x0 equals 4, times x, in this case is 3, minus x0 squared, which is 16. That's 2 times 4 is 8, times 3 is 24, so that's 24 minus 16. 24 minus 16 is 8. So it's telling us that uh, at x equals 3, the approximate value for y is 8. Uh, we know that at 3, of course, x squared is 9. So this is about 1 out. So you can see that the approximation is starting to diverge as we, as we go outside uh, beyond the operating point. Okay, so that's a short introduction to linearization. Those of you who've done more advanced math will recognize uh, this equation here. to be the Taylor series um, with one one level approximation. Okay, So this is basically the truncated uh, Taylor series, uh, but we'll leave that for another day. Okay.